Hello and welcome to Wax on Wednesdays. Today is another installment of the line making series for January 2019. And I am using some old uh, demo boards for this that are already uh, partially, I've done different demonstrations on them. And this week I'm using a heated tool that has several assorted brass bits to uh, to change it out and make up different marks. And you can see here it has a little uh, temperature gauge that I can turn up and down the temperature depending on what I'm working on in the line and mark that I want to make in the wax. I know about three different heating tools that you can use with encaustic. If you know of another tool uh, that can be uh, used as a heated stylus, then feel free to uh, leave it uh, in the comment box below and share with us. This and uh, the two others that I know about, I will list on the blog today on the Play Plays With Paper blog and uh, list a link to each of these tools that I'm aware of that can be used with encaustic. And you can see here I'm just turning down the temperature just a little bit. And this is a stamping tool. It's a circular stamping tool. And I'm just stamping directly into the wax. And if I have uh, layers underneath, I may be able to uh, get down to some previous layers there and reveal some color that I've added uh, in the previous layers, like this one revealing the white underneath. And this, they can be just cleaned off with a paper towel. And this is a almost a, like a leaf shape uh, to this. And this now is the chisel. And these just screw in and out. I simply turn down the temperature of the unit and then unscrew the bit and replace it with another shape. And this one incising the lines right there into the wax. And I can go back in any of these marks and add in uh, some oil stick or something to enhance and make these sort of pop out. And this one is a little, this one is almost shaped like an old, uh, a little flower or an old sort of snap shape. It had quite a cute little, cute little design to it. So I'm adding it to this, uh, this old flower piece that I did. And this is a little spiral stamp that I'm adding to the stem here. And these are just fun little sort of stamping. This one came with a, kind of quite a few bits that had fun little stamping tools that you can stamp directly into the wax. Now, if you turn the temp gauge too high up, well, you can see this one, it's got a little bit warm. Um, if you turn the temperature too high, then any of those stamping marks that you've made, are, of course, are just gonna become molten in the wax. So usually I try to keep it as low, the unit itself as low as I can possibly go and still melt the wax. And I find that I can get the best line and form that way and uh, and just keep it as low, the temperature as low as I can possibly uh, keep it with still melting the wax here. And uh, this I'm using just the r and uh, paint, straight dipping the tool straight into the paint and then transferring it onto the board. So this tool, stylus tool works in a couple different ways. I can both incise the mark into the wax and then add oil stick or something to make it enhance it and make the uh, design stand out. Or I can use paint and apply it directly to the encaustic surface with the heated tool. So it's kind of a twofer. It works a couple different ways. It's kind of neat that way. And if you're not work, used to working with a heated stylus tool, which it's been quite a while since I have worked with one, then it just takes some practice in getting those marks really uniform and learning where the temp gauge needs to be to get the marks so they're not just sort of molten wax everywhere. And the just practice getting those marks uniform before you move on to a larger piece or a piece where you need um, a lot of control. And so it's just kind of fun to make some little, some little marks and enhancements on various pieces as I practice these lines. So on this one, continuing to work with um, just getting some shapes and some line onto the encaustic surface, 
by both incising, here I'm incising, and also um, transferring some paint directly on to the encaustic surface, all using the heated stylus tool. And this is just very crude, just very crude, uh, simple, simplistic uh, drawing, really concentrating on where that heat needs to be uh, to create these marks and also uh, uniformity in the marks. So I figured just some little flowers and, and petals and things like that that are um, very simple but um, need to be sort of um, sort of uniform in shape um, to carry it through. So it's good little practice and just a lot of fun just to sort of um, just to sort of work with and get a little bit of practice in and making those uh, lines and shape all sort of uniform and it all depends on um, on the heat like I said and if your um, dial gets turned up or if you find that it's melting uh, too quickly or it's making a molten mess it's not um, staying in form or shape then turn that heat down and of course if you're um, scraping through the wax then you might need to turn your heat up. And adding some indigo oil paint stick there to make all of those inside lines really stand out and pop and adding that to the entire piece to sort of tie it together. So this was a really fun exploration and just sort of seeing what the heat and stylus tool could do, what marks it could make with the different tips and also the fact that it could not only incise lines into the wax but also add paint um, on top as well and, it, and you can feel the texture even after you fuse it it has a nice little raised texture uh, from the stylus tool adding that paint so it's just really kind of fun it adds a different dimension to your painting and here I'm just going back over um, actually a little slower this is a sped up video but a little bit slower and just really concentrating on getting those petals sort of uniform in shape and it takes a little bit to get the hang of it um, to get a little hang up of, of doing everything um, once you get the temperature right, making uniform marks. And like I said, this was a perfect um, little um, way to practice making those marks was making just these little flowers in this little uh, landscape. And just a sort of a fun way to explore making those marks. And of course, everything has to be fused. So that it all uh, binds with all of the previous layers and removing just a little bit more of that indigo with just some vegetable oil and a paper towel, making it a little bit more interesting. And so I hope that you enjoy this Wax on Wednesdays video and have fun with a heated stylus tool. And remember that I'll list all of the supplies on the Plays with Paper blog and the link will be in the description box below so that you can see everything that I used each week on Wax on Wednesdays. So I hope you had fun and happy creating. See you next week. Happy Wax on Wednesdays.